Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today I'm reading for June 19th and 20th, Wednesday and Thursday, for my Virgos. Hello, my Virgos. Okay, now, this is a short reading, I am, and it's Wednesday, Thursday, so I use my Radley Valentine Archangel Power Tarot cards, and I, um, I, I've been saying Power Tower cards, no, Power tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused the deck with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. We still have time for that full moon energy. It is on the 17th. Sagittarius is supposed to be kind of, uh, It's also, I'm hearing more that it's going to be kind of like a game changer. Very positive. Bring about peace, harmony. Um, now, again, I'm always, you know, I do say that if you are looking for that, if you want that, it will find you. But if you are somebody who just likes or likes to attract um, a little bit of chaos, then you know it will not. Now, when I say that though, for my Virgos, for the most part, you love peace and harmony. You want things to go really well. So. Get out there, release, relinquish, and request. Release what um, holds you back, relinquish what, do, what no longer serves you, and request all the good stuff for you. So let's see what's going to happen Wednesday and Thursday. You've been dealing with a lot of um, negativity. You've been dealing with a lot of negative energy around you, but you have somehow managed to keep yourself positive. Keep you know, whatever that covering you have to do, you know, I'll say, you know, cover me in protection, you know, do, you know, whatever that is, keep that because it does when you, when you are going into, you know, when you have that negative energy around you very much so it's, it tries to creep in and it tries to find a little, you know, like little, little worm, it tries to worm itself in. So keep, keep yourself out of that. Well, not... It's all, I feel like it's all around you in many ways. So just, um, you know, I commend you, though. I commend you for staying as positive as you have because I really feel that you have. You're, you know, and I feel, too, that my um, Virgos, that you're almost saying, you know what? That's your problem, and good for you. Good for you with that because, you know, it's like, you know, don't rain on my parade. Okay, all three cards are reversed, so very strong message for you. First card, the Ten of Raphael. Now, Raphael in this deck represents water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, fluid, emotional, flowing. Tens are about endings and new beginnings, okay? Tens are like this. Now, when, when we read this, it doesn't mean that this is ending. It's almost like you've completed this. You've come to a point. And when I talk about relationships, remember, relationships can be your job, your family, or your personal. So this this talks about family. You can put in your job. You can put in personal. Whatever it is that you're focusing on. So love and blessings fill your life. Harmonious relationships with family members happily ever after. So if this is with family, things are going really well with that. If it's personal, things are going well. If it's your job, things are going well with that. But again, I do feel that there's that negative entity around you. I shouldn't say entity, but just negative energy around you, okay? Next card, the Page of Ariel. Now, this is your energy. This is Earth energy. It's also Taurus and, and Capricorn energy. Solid energy, money energy. I feel with this and this, and I'm going to go with job and work now just because that's where my mind tends to go more. But again, you put it where it needs to go. I feel like this is where... Your job is actually heating up in a good way. It's becoming more interesting to you. And I feel that, you know, and, again, and this, this resonates, right? In the longer reading, the 16th through that, this makes sense to me now, is that it's like things are like, it's like ready to start blossoming. So if you do not have a job right now and you're looking, it's going to be, it's going to be a really good job that you get into that has, I feel, has a long potential. Now, I think that, yeah, I did have somebody, I think, a Virgo asking me about that. So, yes, so it has a long potential or it brings you to your next step, okay? So, remember those words because, you, know, uh, you, you know, it's easier to get a job if you have a job. So, it brings you to that next step. 
Now, reliable, clever, educated, and balanced. And this is the page. Pages are just, you know, like it's that teenage energy now. Very, It's impulsive, which my Virgos are kind of like, oh, no, I don't want to be... Wait a minute, let me weigh all my decisions. I've got all my charts. Do you see my chart, Deb? Debbie, here's my charts. So, you know, no, 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 I have it. I have this all measured out here now. But this is more of an impulsive energy here. Reliable, clever, educated, and balanced. An excellent opportunity will be offered to you. Scholarships or the pursuit of education. Time to get to work. Make sure whoever, any of you, if this is about work, make sure that your... Um, your resume is really up to date. Bring it to a resume, um, you know, go go one of those resume programs if you need to. I'm not going to ask you to spend money on it because I know that money can be tight on this. Also, too, um, oh, it, it just went out too. On a personal note, on a personal note, um, there was something, okay, I'm sorry, it just, I went down that resume thing and it just didn't, it, so I'm sorry, it, it'll come back. If it needs to be said, it will come back. Last card is also reversed. The two of Raphael. So here we have the 10, you know, and then this comes up and this is kind of that new beginning again. And two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits, don't give up on those you have. Now, the thing also too, I was feeling like, yeah, this is this is really really personal too on this. Like there might have been on a personal note some Virgos that are having some trouble with their marriages per se, and you know to the point of you know talking separation divorce. But yet this it it's like you re refocus and you redirect and you start putting your energy back into that. And you know I feel that doing that can you know can help quite a bit okay that was that was what i was trying to say but with this if this is a work this is i mean any of this any of this can go with relationships and i've talked to you about that uh, you know i know ad nauseum so things this is really good positive energy this is stuff like you know um you know this is like your name on on the marquee energy this is like hey this is your time energy uh, and if you on to the longer readings this really fits into that too so i like this so my virgos as always know that you are loved and be blessed bye bye